Hey there everyone, it's Ian Brody Stewart, another Everyday with Ian, and I'm pretty sure everyone's getting off the heels of yesterday's, last night's video. Ooh, the trailer. That trailer. You know what I'm talking about. You better know what I'm talking about. The new full-length trailer to Star Wars The Force Awakens. It finally happened. It looks awesome. I can't wait. December needs to come right now. And I love the react, the positive reaction to it. You know, uh, Fandango, Fandango, Fandango had a, you know, pre-sale for the tickets for like I think December eighteenth. It was so overloaded that it crashed. That's how great it is. I'm sure it's working right now. I'm probably gonna get a ticket soon. I better get a ticket soon because I want to see this immediately. Um, so that's part of the video, and you can check out the trailer down below, as well as articles about Fan, uh, Fandango crashing in the description down below as well. But that's, that's part of this video. The other part of the video is the stupid hashtag, Boycott Star Wars. Why? Because some internet trolls are upset that a black man is in the lead role, and not a white guy. Wow. You know, I thought since it's 2015, we're past skin color in movies and are able to accept the fact that anyone can act and anyone can be in a lead role. But anyway, these internet trolls decide to create Boycott Star Wars because they label the film as anti-white propaganda. Just stop. Stop. Enough already. Like, I don't know why people do this. Is it to get attention? You can get attention by curing cancer, by solving world hunger, by saving a cat. That's better attention than trying to create a hashtag in order to get people to not watch one of the most celebrated and iconic film series of all time. That's not gonna work. People aren't dumb. They're, gonna, they're not gonna be like, oh, these random assholes are right. It's anti-white propaganda, man. Man, we gotta not watch this critically acclaimed film. Oh my god, look at how much hard work all these filmmakers put into this. Look how much nostalgia is bringing into me, but I'm not gonna watch it. Why? Because one black guy is in the film leading it. Oh my god, and the director's Jewish. Oh my god. You see, how, you see how ridiculous that sounds? Enough. Stop. Stop. The only reason this hashtag actually trend was because people put it on their tweets, but not in support of it. In protest of it, in negative response to it, calling the trolls a variety of things I don't want to repeat because even I wouldn't say them, but there is a point to that to the negative response because it's stupid. You guys are stupid. Stop. Either you're gonna like the film or you don't. Don't try to boycott something that is bringing a lot of great things to everyone. It's reliving everyone's nostalgia who grew up with the first original three um, Star Wars films and then going through that, the prequels, and then finally the latest trilogy now that's going to be installed, and then people who are getting introduced to it, you know, who have never heard of Star Wars until recently, who are now watching the previous films and are getting hyped about it because it's going to be awesome. You know, just stop. Enough of that. But that's my little thing about that. And also, if you want to read more on the stupid trolls doing that stupid thing, there's an article in the description below. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are really excited as I am for the new Star Wars film. You better be, because it's all kinds of awesome. But that's it, pretty much it. And once again, this is Every Day with Ian. I'm Ian Brody Stewart. Just for this one time, may the Force be with you. See ya.